The Happy House crew has had the opportunity to witness and participate in so many amazing humanitarian acts. It's truly a pleasure. Today we're taking a look back at some of the projects we've been part of. I've been fortunate enough to have the opportunity to work with an amazing organization, greatergood.org, and specifically their signature program, Rescue Rebuild. I took a trip to Tampa to help rebuild an animal shelter and learned what a catio was. In 2011, we had a great adoptions, I mean, for us. We did 50. This little girl's Jackie. Oh, hi, Jackie. She was a surrender, but apparently she had a little bit of uh, mistreatment or uh, difficulty with males. Okay. So she's a little shy with males. Anyway, she's she seems okay with you right now. Well, well, yeah, I'm the one with the treats. <laughs> 2015, we had 356, but that doesn't tell the whole story because we had another 650 animals over in animal services that we were able to place. And so it's over a thousand animals this year in 2015. That's basically three animals every single day finding a home. Yes, it is. That's really great. With work. a very, very small staff. This is Luther, and it's my understanding that a young veteran, after eight years in the military, he needed to go out of the country, but had three dogs. And he found some women that had volunteered to take care of them while he was gone. Upon returning, he went to them, and they had given two of them away, and the woman just said she had no idea what happened to the third. So he began looking for them as best he could, but he had to go back again overseas. And this time, he just stayed gone for five years. Fortunately, he had adopted two of them, and they were microchipped. And because they were microchipped, they went missing in Texas, and this is in Florida. But the shelter here scanned Luther, found the chip. They were able to track down the owner, get in touch with him, and now he gets to spend the rest of his years, his elderly years, with somebody that really loves him and will give him the kind of home that he deserves. I know someone who is an outstanding transporter. These are free transports, and she's going to set it up so that he will be transported from here all the way to Texas. It'll take about four days. It's just all set up by people who really care about the animals and, and want to see them in loving homes. When Rescue Rebuild looks for a shelter, you know, we look for a lot of things. Who's doing the most for the community? Who's really going to be impacted the most? Who's really could benefit the most from, from what we could do for them? And so that's why we landed here. Gosh, this is our hundredth. Can you imagine? A hundred. That's a lot. I spend more time in shelters than home. It's, it's a good day. <laughs> this is our catio. That's our fancy name for outdoor cat enclosure. So we built this. It's all Florida hurricane proof so the kitties can, uh, you know, stay here and not blow to Kansas. Um, and this will be their outdoor space. It's, you know, so much research has gone into, you know, really how healthy cats are when they live in cages and it's not good. The families will walk in and that will be the first thing they see is that super cute mural that these guys have done out of silhouetted cutouts. What you're seeing here then is where they're going to have the intake cats. I love that furry one. I do too. The face. Oh. They're all really cute. Cats and kitty litter boxes cracks me up. You have all this beautiful enrichment and where do they spend time? Litter box. Paula has come all the way from Oklahoma to help paint. Can you imagine the dedication? So we met her doing a rebuild on a shelter that got leveled by an F5 tornado. So, um, you know, we've, we roped her in. We need good help. Where do I aim? How do I so, keep your finger off the trigger. Yeah. Okay, so this little part here is how you line it up. Perfect. So one of the things that people forget about is is the volunteers, you know? I mean, the dogs don't really care about the color and the polka dots. Right. But when you're trying to encourage volunteerism and get people to come out and walk dogs and play with dogs, and that's hugely important. I mean, these dogs, they need to be played with and enriched. And so you have something fun like this, and it encourages people and families to come out here. It doesn't seem like a depressing penal colony kind of thing, you know? Right. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> you start down that road, I'm sure we, I'm just surprised we haven't got a truck to run off the road yet, just looking. <laughs> you know, it's just so neat. I have never seen tires <laughs> with polka dots on them <laughs> painted up. I think it's going to be great. You know, you, you've got the ceiling that's going to let natural light in. Right. You've got the nice perches everywhere. You've got a bench for people to sit on and come out here and play with cats. You've got a nice ramp. The kitties can come and go as they please. I mean, I agree with you. Yeah, it's you not know, so bad to be a cat here. No. <laughs> <laughs> Look at oh, wow. that. All you can say is wow. Oh, the guys did such a great job on this. I mean, they put so much heart into it, so I think it's kind of fitting that there's hearts on the walls. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's really cool. Are Thanks we... for making our 100th build so special. Oh, it's special. That's not the word for it. Really appreciate it's... it. Awesome. Just a wow. <laughs> <laughs> to learn more about how you can help, visit our website.